Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and today is the last episode of my Thanksgiving series. I can't believe November is already finished, but this month I shared with you guys an appetizer recipe, a couple of side dishes, so I wanted to round it off with a dessert recipe as well. So today's recipe is going to be a pumpkin snowball cookie. It's really, really easy, it takes only a few ingredients, and can come together very quickly for anything that you're hosting. So if you guys like cookie recipes, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So in front of me, I have all the ingredients that I need to make these cookies. I also brought out my stand mixer to make it a little bit easier on myself, but if you have a handheld mixer or just use your hands, that's totally fine. So inside my stand mixer, I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter and it's already nice and melted. And then I'm going to add a little bit of powdered sugar. And you'll notice this recipe does not have any eggs, which is nice. And then about a teaspoon, I always put a little extra of vanilla extract. And so now you're just gonna mix this up until it's nice and fluffy, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right, so that looks perfect. You'll notice that the color is nice and light pale and it's very fluffy compared to when we started off. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just scrape off the side and add in the rest of our ingredients. Perfect. So now we just have some flour and then a little bit of salt, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie spice. Give that a nice quick little mix. So super easy recipe, doesn't require that many ingredients, so you can make it really quickly. Go ahead and add this without making a mess. All right, and now let's give this a good mix. All right, so now that everything is nice and mixed together, I'm just gonna add a half a teaspoon at a time of water. And you don't need much. You'll notice when it starts coming together and forming a ball that you are done. And I think I usually use about three to four teaspoons. All right, that looks perfect. I actually ended up using about a half a cup of water, but you just kind of have to play around with it. It really, really depends on the state of your butter to how much water you use. But I'm gonna go ahead and add some chopped pecans at this point. And you just really wanna get it mixed together and then we can start forming these into balls. All right, so my mixture is completely done. I have this tablespoon here that I'm just going to scoop up kind of roughly like that and then roll it into a nice ball. And then I have a tray right here lined with parchment paper and I'm just gonna keep rolling until I finish up all my dough. I've got my oven preheated at 375 and you just wanna bake this for seven to eight minutes. That's really it. I'll show you guys exactly when it's done and then what to do as the last step. All right, welcome back. So I just pulled the cookies out of the oven. It's been about 10 minutes, a little longer than I initially thought, but all you really wanna do is just check that the bottoms aren't getting too, too dark. This is perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is cover these in some powdered sugar cinnamon mixture. So that's what I have right here. It's just some powdered sugar with some cinnamon powder. And this just adds a little extra fun and flavor to these cookies. Also why it's called a snowball. So just take one cookie, dump it in your cinnamon powder, and then really shake off the excess 
and there you guys go. So right now it's warm. Do it once while it's warm and then I would really suggest doing it again once it's completely cooled off. That way you kind of have two layers of this really, really delicious uh, mixture on top. So, and that's it. Now let's go ahead and taste test. And I just wanted to open one up just to show you guys the inside of it. Nice and warm. All right. Mmm. Such a simple, simple recipe. Doesn't take very long to make. And you saw that it didn't really require that many ingredients and your house will be smelling delicious. So if you guys like cookies, if you guys like pumpkin spice, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.